Hey y'all, this is Heather with Delivery Driver Diaries. Uh, coming live from Florida like usual. I uh, want to get on here real quick and tell y'all a little bit about Grubhub. Now Grubhub is, again, like I said, different from Waiter and DoorDash. Grubhub hides tips just like DoorDash does. You will not know your tip until you complete an order with them. Now Grubhub will vary from $8 all the way up to 20 or 25 depending on the run and how much a customer tips and how much Grubhub is going to give you, give you for that run. Now, you get at $8, you have to play by year because sometimes you may get a tip and sometimes you may not. It just depends on the person that ordered, of course. And as always, treat the customers and treat the restaurant staff nicely and because you might end up getting a cash tip if you are very nice to a customer. And always update the customer on how long you're at a restaurant for. Now, I, my golden rule is I wait three to four minutes. After three or four minutes, if the order is not ready, I will go ahead and automatically text the customer and let them know that I am waiting. And if I can, I will get a, give them an ETA or updated time on when the order is supposed to be ready. Now, again, back to Grubhub. <laughs> they, they just started showing the miles, like how far... A customer is from the restaurant I love that because now I can decide automatically be like yes I will take it or no I won't now there's been times that I have accepted a run from Grubhub and declined the order or unassigned myself from that order because it's gonna be more than a 15 minute wait for the order now of course Grubhub is nice because they always are they treat the drivers very well and they are very on the game when you call them and they are willing to help you out if you have a trouble on your run or whatever. Now, of course, Grubhub is doing the same thing as DoorDash. You must start hitting, as soon as you get an order, you must start heading towards the restaurant. Because if you don't, they will take the run from you. Yes, I'm serious. So, with when I'm like maybe two or three minutes out from a restaurant, I can automatically hit arrive. That way I can start slowing down and take my time getting to the restaurant. Now, Grandpa gives you a leeway of five minutes, give or take, being late. But of course, you have to call customer service or the chat to let them know that there's a delay when you get into the restaurant. Now, I only done that twice, and so far, by God's good grace, I've been all right. But, you know, Grubhub is very simple to use, and it only took me maybe a month or two before I figured them out. And over the two years of me working with them, they have improved their system a lot. Because they just started showing their mileage maybe about a month or two ago. Which is a lot what the, they got a lot of complaints from drivers because them not showing the mileage. And of course, you know, they're being stinky. They used to show their tips, but now they don't. You actually have to wait till you complete an order. And, I mean, yeah, you can make pretty good amount with Grubhub on a day. But, again, like I said, I never do, I never schedule a block with them on the idea that I, because I'm multi-app. I'm multi-app between DoorDash and Waiter. So, with all three of them on, I will accept an order, depending on who gives me the buzz. I will turn everybody else off, do the order, and then go back to Grubhub or whoever. But other than that, Grubhub is very more simpler than DoorDash. I mean, they all have their pros and cons, so it just depends on how you do it. But um, you don't have to accept every single run with Grubhub. Yes, your ratings may be poor. Mine are, trust me. But you always can do go by the mileage. I go by a dollar two per mile. Now, say if it's over five miles, I have to at least get ten, fifteen dollars in order to. Justify my time driving to the customer's house and everything. Other than that, that's pretty much about what Grubhub is about. I mean, they're the same kind of platform as DoorDash and Waiter. But they all have their variant differences. But, you know, if you play it, once you learn the system, you can play it pretty well. But other than that, that's pretty much what they are. Until then, I'll talk to you later and with a third video for Waiter. Um, catch you on the flip side. Have a good day, y'all.